So story time, I was eating two candy bars one day uh, and I really was having trouble deciding which candy bar do I want to eat. So they had two options and they were both kind of like those like Halloween fun pack mini candy bars. One of them I think uh, was a white chocolate Kit Kat bar. Yes, white chocolate Kit Kat bar. And the other one was a cookies and cream crunch, something along those lines of a Twix bar. And now I'm normally a really fan of Twix bars, but I also really like multi-flavored Kit Kat bars. And the dilemma I was having was in that moment, I was really like in the mood for a um, proper white chocolate kind of mood. Like I wasn't really in a milk chocolate or dark chocolate. I specifically wanted a cookies and cream white chocolate kind of vibe, which is why I was debating between those options. And uh, as I was thinking, I was think feeling like, okay, so the white Kit Kat bar is, it looks very obviously like white chocolate on the outside, but the problem was the packaging didn't say anything about what kind of chocolate it really was. It just kind of said like crunch and cream, but there was no like clear label that said white chocolate. So I was like, well, what if this is one of those trick Halloween candies? You know, the ones I'm talking about where they tell you that it's a different flavor, but on the inside, it's actually not. It's just a regular chocolate bar. Um, they just put like a special neon glowing Halloween wrapper around it. So I was afraid of that option being the, the Kit Kat bar. Uh, and then with the Twix bar, it was kind of more obvious, like it very clearly said cookies and cream. And so if you didn't get cookies and cream, that was going to be a problem. And I was really debating and even though I wanted to try the Kit Kat bar uh, and which I did eventually, spoiler alert, uh, it was really hard for me to open that first package because I was like, what if this is not what I want? What if this is not the white chocolate Kit Kat that I have envisioned? But I opened it and lo and behold, I saw white chocolate. It was exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it wasn't cookies and cream, but it was white chocolate and so I was not disappointed by that. Um, and then I opened the Twix bar and the Twix bar was actually completely out of my expectations. Uh, I saw milk chocolate and I was like, oh no, this is not what I wanted. This, you know, that feeling of when you open a chocolate bar wrapping and there's no turning back. Like you can't just close and, and rewrap a chocolate bar. Like that's not a thing. Um, I opened it in that moment of horrible realization. I was like, oh my gosh this is milk chocolate. This is not what I asked for. So what happened was actually, once you took a bite, inside was a cookies and cream portion. So it was like really weird. Like the cookies and cream, like the white chocolate and cookie part was inside the milk chocolate. If you've ever seen this chocolate bar, this cookies and cream crunch Twix bar, whatever it was called, uh, now you know. Um, and to me, that's really strange because milk chocolate and white chocolate should not combine. Like that should not be a thing. Um, but anyways, lesson learned from that story is that sometimes things just aren't the way you expect. And that's, you know, it happens in life. And um, what you think will be a lovely cookies and cream white chocolate bar is actually not. It's actually quite hidden inside and mingled with all these other weird things uh, that you can't really see at first. And sometimes when you try new and unexpected things, there is disappointment. And sometimes there is great joy depending on, you know, the surprises that you get. And so there will be surprises and unexpected things in life. Uh, but that is a lesson that I learned from my cookie bar dilemma and or chocolate bar dilemma, I guess. And sorry, I've been talking too much about cookies and cream. Um, not that I even like cookies and cream that much. I actually only like it in that like Hershey chocolate bar. Uh, it's a complete tangent. Like I don't really enjoy it in ice cream that much. Um, but all that to say, that is the lesson that I learned. And that is also what I learned from my teaching experience in Korea, teaching English. And that is what my next video is going to be about. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed my rant. I was going to try and get ready and try and do this eyeliner thing um, from this Korean brand that I really like. But uh, I can't multitask, as you all know, so I didn't do that, but I hope you enjoyed this rant, and I will see you soon on my teaching experience slash expectation versus reality outfits video. Bye-bye.